is cybersecurity entry level? I think a lot of people, uh, they, they speak about cybersecurity. You cannot get into cybersecurity unless you have two, three years experience in <laughs> wherever, whether it's IT, yeah. whether it's something else before getting into this industry of cybersecurity. And I wanted to ask you, Unix guy, whether what your opinion is on that, if it is not entry level, what is the route into yeah, this Yeah, field? look, really good question. It comes up now. I promise you 20 years ago, people were saying similar things. Now, from my experience is anytime we make a blanket statement, chances are it's wrong. So when we say something, mm. Full blank. Cybersecurity is not an entry level. Full stop. That tend to, to be wrong first. So I'll give you an example. I work in PwC, which is one of the big four consulting firms. Okay. So we do cybersecurity consulting. Every year, PwC have a, something we call grad program where you hire fresh graduates. That's not just mm -hmm. PwC, but all the other big four do it. The big banks have it. Government has it. So just by virtue of the fact that we do actively every single year, hire entry level individuals into cybersecurity job jobs that in and of itself should make excuse me this bloody coffee <laughs> that in and of itself should make this statement wrong so just saying something cybersecurity is not entry level is just wrong because there are simply so many people landing entry level cybersecurity jobs okay now let's unpack that statement cybersecurity uh, is not just one thing it's not just one job you know I don't know, driving a bus, you're called, let's say, a bus driver. But cybersecurity, we don't all go to a building and we do the exact same job. No, cybersecurity is a broad umbrella term where we do so many different jobs. I think the confusion happens. Well, first, I blame my generation, the boomers. We are the source of every problem because it, when we started, yes, first of all, there was no job title called cybersecurity. We were yeah. either support engineer, system engineer, network engineer. So my job was as a quote unquote Unix guy, I was working with an operating system called Sun Solaris, which is a Unix operating system. And part of that job, we'd install the OS and there was this quote unquote new and upcoming company called Checkpoint. They partnered with us and they had a firewall product, but that firewall wasn't the firewall that you see today. It was just a software. So we installed that software, we configured the ports for them and then we will do what you call today identity and access management. Sometimes we configure mm -hmm. something called, it used to be called Open LDAP, one direct, Sun One Directory, which is your Open LDAP. And yeah. sometimes we install patches, and that's your vulnerability management. But we did these tasks as systems engineering. Likewise, the network engineers, they would configure their routing and switches. And then they had something called access lists or ACLs, and that was their security. Now, I can't tell a beginner today that you have to do that crappy job that we did. No, it wasn't crappy. Mm -hmm. It was the only job available. Spend 10 years of your life, do it. Then you'll be allowed to have the chance to even touch cybersecurity. That's just wrong, right? Yeah. That, that, that's not necessary. Now, can you do it that way? Absolutely. Can you work as a network engineer for three years and then transfer to cybersecurity? More power to you if that's what you want. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. Mm -hmm. um, and I think it, it will, will go down the rabbit hole of you can't secure what you don't understand. This, <laughs> this I'm, I'm going to put my coffee back because this is one statement. Every time I hear it, I have a bit of a giggle, right? Because it's mm -hmm. such a broad statement. Uh, people usually say this statement to want to like come across as clever. And I think it have the opposite effect because again, broad statement, let's unpack it, right? And funny, by the way, people who say that, they usually have never worked a day in their life in cybersecurity. Some mm. of them are network engineers. Some of them are CompTIA trainers. So they just do CompTIA training. And apparently you can't secure what you don't understand. So it, yes, theoretically, you need to secure something you don't understand. But the question is, how much do you need to understand, right? Mm. So you need to understand networking. Just how much networking do you need to understand? As far as I know, Almost all cybersecurity training that's available in the market, it goes over networking. Now, do you need to be a network engineer? Absolutely not. That's not a requirement, right? But they seem to say this, you know, you can't secure onto what you don't understand. They usually refer to um, networking or, or again, something like a help desk as, as like this is the necessary background. 
Um, again, these statements come from individuals who haven't worked in this industry because thinking that this is the only foundation that's needed, again, they're wrong because there are so many other things that you actually need to know. So, for example, why stop at networking? Sometimes we need to deal with transistors. Sometimes we need to deal with physical security. In fact, I find myself having more and more conversations with lawyers and, you know, regulations. Like I work with this organization that has factories in China. So I had to travel and I had to see certain things and certain regulation. That doesn't mean I need to be a lawyer. But again, this quote unquote, I need to know something before I secure it. Uh, you know, I had to pick it up as I go. Like you don't need yep. to do everything before you start. So, sorry, I, I think I went into <laughs> a lot of things, but this, this um, cybersecurity is not entry level. I think it's a myth that refuses to die. It usually yep. comes from uh, individuals who, again, have not worked a day in their life in cybersecurity and they should never give advice to cybersecurity. It's very, very strange that they do that. Um, or B, again, it's usually coming from someone who's on a journey. They want to learn cybersecurity. Uh, mm. But they think it's like this so hard. Therefore, instead of trying to learn it, they go and learn these other things that are not really relevant. So, yes, there are roles that exist as entry level within cybersecurity. In consulting, we need the junior consultant. For example, mm. another example role, let's say vulnerability management. Every organization needs to have a tool we call vulnerability scanner where they run that scanner and they generate reports. That is not a senior task, but we actually need junior people. I cannot get someone with five years of experience to do this job because A, they'll get bored and leave, and B, mm. frankly speaking, I don't have enough money to pay someone senior. So this is a junior task. There are so many, like even under the umbrella of identity and access management, there is an army of junior resources that we need that they absolutely need no skill to do that job. They just need to be willing to learn and willing to start their journey. Another yep. umbrella of roles is GRC, which is, again, there's so much garbage online about what GRC is. But again, within GRC, most roles aren't really senior. So <laughs> in my opinion, cybersecurity, just like any other field, like networking, you have junior network engineer, mid-level, and you have senior network engineer. Same thing mm. with cybersecurity, you have a junior analyst, analyst, you know, director, etc., etc. So that's my take on it. Um, yeah, <laughs> it, it makes a lot of sense. And I think I think a lot of people kind of uh, that are perhaps trying to get into the industry and again, have difficulty in understanding uh, how to can really push this agenda um, of cybersecurity being something that you need experience in this area or that area before you can actually get into. I think everyone's path is so different and yeah. there are different paths to getting to, to, to the point you want to get to. Um, cyber, like you said, is, is, is very broad and there's many domains that you could be getting into that require completely different skill sets from the other, um, which, which is interesting. And, and, and really what you said is, is so true. Like when you think about it, literally, graduates get hired into <laughs> <laughs> so so that that alone kind of it's it's crazy <laughs> and you know what Caleb like uh, it, it, the problem is on the internet blanket statements tend to you know get views for example if someone says there is an idiot out there who says like cybersecurity training is scam full stop reason why his literal reason is you can't secure what you don't understand therefore you need to do CompTIA therefore buy my course that's CompTIA course like this is, mm. and you look at these people and they actually have never worked a day in their life in cybersecurity. There is this mm. strange idea that, um, you know, there has to be only one path. Like I really liked what you just said. There is so many different paths and there is no just this one single path. Um, like people, again, a popular thing that used to be, and I personally tried to fight it, is they said, CCNA from Cisco, that's a must. If you don't do CCNA, you don't understand networking, which, which is frankly speaking, yeah. really stupid. Like saying something like this is just communicating to me that you are under the impression that networking knowledge only exists in CCNA. That's ignorance. There is like a countless number of training courses that go over networking. There is free videos, there is tutorials. There's so many things you can do to learn networking and networking exists outside of Cisco. And not only that, there are so many roles in cybersecurity that requires zero, zero networking knowledge. And 
that just mm. seems to piss people off because they think, you know, this is the path. Like I, <laughs> I had a video once, you know, crapping on CCNA and saying, basically, if you want to work in cybersecurity, you don't need to do it. And then I mm. had this big YouTube channel make a video and says, no, 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 do CCNA. And just out of curiosity, I clicked on that person's name and I looked at the YouTuber who had like massive follow, looked on his um, LinkedIn profile and his experience, he worked as an IT support for like eight months. And then all he did was work in these like content creation cybersecurity companies where he actually hasn't performed a single cybersecurity task. So, which mm -hmm. is really weird, like to be outspoken on a topic that you know nothing about is really weird. Like wow. I, I don't know anything about climbing mountains. If I go on talking about climbing mountains, that's just something significantly wrong with me. It's just my opinion. <laughs> wow. Oh, incredible. We just launched a free cloud engineer assessment to evaluate and assess your current skills on your path to becoming a cloud professional. Now, when you take this assessment, it provides some incredible recommendations for your path. And remember, this is completely free. It costs you nothing. It only helps you on your journey. So if this interests you and you are an aspiring cloud professional, definitely take this assessment. I'm gonna leave a link to it. Here's an example of me taking it myself and getting some pretty good recommendations from my own assessment. So guys, check this out. And I hope this is really helpful. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later.